Hey guys, so in this video I will be doing a sew-in with uh, no leave out at the part using uh, my method of crocheting just the top portion of the hair where you would typically have your leave out. Uh, so this is like a alternative to using a closure if you still just don't want to have leave out. So right now I am just braiding those two braids that I will use for crochets and I decided to leave out like my um, edges around the perimeter just because I really wanted to be able to pull my hair back but this like leaving out the edges is completely optional and at the end I will show you like that you don't you really don't have to leave out anything at all for it to still look natural like you'll be able to see that even without edges left out it'll still work just fine I just chose to do it because I wanted to be able to pull my hair back a little bit and like do braids and stuff especially with the curly hair that I'm doing I really wanted that like um, to be able to do like a braided back sort of like waterfall braids or stuff like that but anyways this is like the braiding pattern that I am using um, yeah just you can just watch and follow along I after I braided those two braids um, at the middle part because this is the middle part I just went ahead and like braided down and this is how it looks with the completed braiding pattern these are really big braids I try not to spend too much time on the braids because at the end of the day it doesn't really matter if your braids are perfect and they don't have to be too small either like braids this big will work just fine it'll still be flat especially since I go back and I tuck the excess braids in between the corn rows and it just makes everything lay super super flat now that I'm done with the braiding pattern let's get into the sewing part and I doubled the wefts by folding them in half just to make this process go faster. Before I started sewing, I just bobby pinned the wefts in place. So I'm just going to go under the wefts and then I'm going to go under the braid. And then I'm going to pull the needle up through. And then um, I'm not going to pull it all the way through because if I pull it all the way through, then it's just going to go through and not hold itself so in order to make it stay I'm gonna open up the thread and then I'm gonna put the needle through the thread like that so that once you pull it the needle is through the thread and it is secure like that now I'm gonna go back and um, sew closer to the beginning of the braid going under everything and pulling it through and now instead of opening the thread to loop it I'm just gonna loop it as it is and I'm just gonna continue sewing down and as I'm sewing I'm gonna go under the weft and under the braid and it's important that you go under the braid for the, like the perimeter of your hair because it makes sure that once you pull it up, you won't be able to see the braid under. And as I'm going through, I'm just gonna like multitask and grab onto those ends of my braids as I'm sewing, so I can be sewing them down as I'm sewing the um, extension stone. After I cut it, I tie it like twice and then I cut off the rest. And yeah, it's just that simple. So then I continue to go through um, sewing onto like multiple braids at a time just so um, those braids can be um, in place and yeah I'm just speeding up through this part because it's just the same thing over and over again of just um, sewing the wefts onto the braids using the exact same method for this install I used um, so I had four bundles I didn't finish all of the four bundles so it's like three and like three quarters so as I'm getting closer to the top I'm not sewing onto those two braids because I'm leaving those for the crochet method that I'm using so um, yeah once I'm done I'm just tying off and yeah so this is how the hair looks like 
so far. And this here is from AliExpress Ali Belly Hair Company, and I'll leave the um, more info down below. So now for the fun part, which is the um, no leave out method, which is probably why you're here watching this video in the first place. So what I did is um, I cut the hair off of the weft, and after I did that, I put a crochet, crochet needle up through the braid from underneath the braid. And I grabbed onto that piece of hair that I cut off from the weft and attached it in the loop. And then I pulled it through like so. And then I'm go grabbing the shorter end of the hair and using that to make a knot. And then I pull on it to make sure it's secure because a lot of the times it does slip and you have to redo it and that's how it looks. So I'm going to do that again putting the crochet, crochet needle up through my hair grabbing a piece of hair and here I'm just combing it just to make it like frizz out a little bit so it's easier it so it's a better match with my hair and then I'm latching it and then grabbing the shorter end to form the knot with my hair I'm just going to continue to do the same thing, um, grabbing a piece of hair, combing through it a little bit, then using the crochet needle to latch on the piece of hair that I have sectioned and um, tying a knot in it. And as you can see, that one slipped out a little bit more problem with slipping on this install but just because I chose to use pieces that weren't too incredibly small just because I like the way it looks when the pieces aren't too small so like I chose to deal with the slipping just so I could use bigger pieces so it's just optional you can just use smaller pieces to avoid this slippage but it was something that I was willing to work with but yeah so this is um, what it is looking like so far I'm doing it on the other side and whenever you're doing it on the other side just remember to um, whenever you're using the crochet needle you want to go up from under the braid so like um, because so like from the other side I put the crochet needle up from under the braid where I wanted the knot to be so that the um, hair could fall on top and this is important because if you put the crochet needle up from above the braid like in the other direction you'll still be able to see the knots and like this whole method will be pointless like this whole knotless method will be pointless so yeah it's very important to make sure that you um, put the crochet needle up from the right direction which is from underneath the braid not from on top of the braid and so as I'm, I'm doing this some of the um, uh, ones that I had done before just weren't staying so I had to go back and redo those pieces which is not a problem you just have to work with it and it's better for it to slip on you now than for it to slip on you like when you're getting ready in the morning or something or if you're out in public and may not have time to fix it just make it sure it's secure when you're doing it in the first place so yeah this is what is looking like so far I went ahead and continued doing the same process because it's the same process and it's um, instead of like fast forwarding through everything I wanted to keep everything at a normal speed so you can see what's going on, but I also don't want this video to be too long, so I went ahead and like skipped through some parts, and yeah, this is how I am finishing it up, just doing the exact same thing that I showed you at the beginning, and this is the end result. As you can tell, it looks very, very natural, and see here I am like taking away the parts that I had left out 
just to show you that you don't have to leave out any edges like look at how natural it looks like without even having any leave out around the parts it still looks natural so this leave out that I left like actually after I had done the whole sew and I kind of wish that I hadn't left out anything because there's really no need to at all like it still looks natural this is um, yeah the end result with this hair I'm liking it you will have to go back and like redefine some of the curls at the top since you did or since I like combed through them but yeah so this is how it looks um, yeah Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful. And feel free to subscribe if you like videos like this.